Good morning students, here you have Ms. Joanna today with you and in today's lesson we are going to explain and talk about seed germination. Now before we start as usual we are going to list our objectives of today's lesson. In today's lesson we are going to explain and identify germination and then we are going to explain how germination happens. So let's just start together. Now what is germination? When we say a seed has germinated, what do we mean by that? Here, as you can see, here is the seed. It is buried under the ground. The process by which a seed develops into a new young plant, it is called germination. So this seed will develop into a young plant. As you can see here, that's the seed buried under the ground. After the seed has been germinated or in the process during germination, the seed will start uh, have uh, or developing some roots as you can see here and then after the, the roots has, have been developed here we have the stem so a seed roots and then the stem will will uh, develop and after that the uh, the it, we will have a young plant as you can see over here. So again, germination is the process when a seed develops into a young plant. Now, do you think seeds they need food or do they do they need uh, energy to germinate and grow? Of course, but from where do you think the seed will have th this energy? Well, as you can see we need to have a quick revision of what we've learned in the previous lesson. We have three parts of the seed. Here we have the seed coat. This seed coat protects the seed from being damaged or ripped. Here we have the embryo, and here we have the food store. The embryo is the part that develops into a young plant, and the food store, which is the area or the food supply that provides the energy, the nutrients required for this seed to germinate. So seeds, they don't have french fries or they eat, no, they have food stored inside the seed and then they can use it to, to germinate and to grow into a young plant. Now, do you think only food store is important for the seed to germinate? Of course not. We have conditions necessary for the seeds to germinate. Let's discuss or discover those parts. Hey, little seed. What do you need to help you grow? Little seed, what do you need to help you grow big and strong? Little seed, what do you need to help you grow? I need water, I need air, I need water to help me grow. I need water, I need air, I need water. Growing roots, yeah! Growing my stem. Now, as you saw from the video, for the seed to germinate, we need three necessary conditions. First, we need warmth that is coming out of the sun. We need air that provides, uh, that is provided for the seed to germinate. And then we need water. We need air, we need water, and we need the warmth that is coming out of the sun. Now, I said seeds need water warmth and air but why didn't i say that seeds need sunlight to grow now we all know that the plants they need oxygen they need air they need uh, water they need sunlight to grow and to grow but why seeds need warmth not the sunlight well the answer is it is 
because seeds are actually buried under the ground so they can't reach for the sunlight. What they need is warmth. So they need water, they need warmth, they need air to germinate into a young plant. Now, if uh, the conditions around the seeds are not perfect. Do you think will the seed germinate? If the weather is too cold or if the weather is too hot, the seeds won't germinate, unfortunately. Now, as we said before, what provides the energy? It is the food store inside the seed. And this is a quick video that explains how seed germinate. They grow into a young plant. As you can see over here. Now, did you notice that the leaves here are, are getting bigger and they grow? Now the leaves, after the leaves are developed enough, they start to take the sunlight, water and air the, in a process called photosynthesis. They make their own food with the help of the sun, not the worms, it is the sunlight. Thank you so much students for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.